welcome back to another video at Trading IQ, where we will learn the unlimited nature of the stock market. In today's video, I'm going to share another industry and from that industry, another stock that I'm looking at. I actually have invested in that stock and I'll share my, my level where I have invested and uh, why I have invested. Now I'm finding it very exciting to be using the screener website and from, from this website to be able to find some uncommon stocks, some, some different niche that are outperforming the market. If you look up the paper industry, the paper stock, these are performing exceptionally well and most of the stocks are out of my level. So I cannot buy it at the moment, but then these are performing exceptionally well. So you have to be aware of those industries which are outperforming the market and you have to time your entry properly. You cannot enter into a paper stock right now. I mean, of course, it is my plan because I only look to buy a stock when it is breaking out of stage one to stage two. I would ideally look to buy a stock which is breaking out of stage one to stage two. I can, of course, look to buy a stock which is in stage two continuation setup. But, uh, you know, at this point in time, since the market is hovering in stage three, I will try to narrow down my approach and uh, try to find the best out of best. So anyhow, let's jump into my screen and let me share a very new industry and a company that I'm looking at. Actually, I invested in that stock and I'll share my level and share my perspective on why I invested in that stock. And I'll use Stan Weinstein stage analysis to determine the level and share my approach. I want you to take a close look at this industry, Glass and Glass Manufacturing Company. Uh, now this company has about 13 listed companies and out of which this company Asahi India Glass, it has about 15,825 crore market cap, the highest among uh, the other, other stock, stock in this industry. So I happened to look at this stock and I found out that it is currently in stage two continuation setup. So this is the whole picture of this, uh, this stock. And uh, as you see, the volume bar looks quite promising when it is compared with the overall picture. It, it has been in the market since 1999. And this is, the, this is the highest level that it has reached. And it is breaking out of this level. So this was the level before it saw a, a mini collapse because of the overall market. And, uh, and it went back up and then it break out that of that level, which is around 600, 609 with significant volume. The volume bars that you see are quite impressive. And, you know, compared to the, the past picture during this time around 2009, it saw about some volume, some peaks uh, and troughs. And now this is the this is the time where I see the volume structures are exceptionally well when it is compared to the overall market. And now it is breaking out of that that level with significant volume and it is currently coming down to that level so i took a position around this level when it bro broke out of that level and it is currently coming back down to that level i might or i might not based on my capital or based on my uh, you know financial planning i might look to invest in this stock again if, if it is uh, if it is coming down to the the breakout level because whenever a stock breaks out of that breaks out of a key level it has that tendency to coming back to that level and since the overall industry uh, i mean the overall industry depends on this this company very much the glass manufacturing company uh, asai is the leading uh, it has the mark, highest market share i could count this as an industry because that's how i am planning at this point in time of uh, my investment planning wherein I am looking at companies with the highest market share and that is how it should be because that you know dictates the overall industry if that is performing com better compared to the other other companies in that industry why not investing in that company so that's that was my perspective when I invested in that company and it my volume has to support my decision when I'm trying to buy a stock right so it has significant volume when it is compared to the past performance and it is coming back to that level so it is still a you know good good buy i mean as per my perspective as per stan winstein stage analysis and when you compare the overall market it looks promising 
So again, it's it's your psychology of money, it's your you know risk appetite, and it's your plan on how you want to approach it. But if you are consistent in your approach, in your plan, you will have to be fearless when executing that plan. And I I saw this pattern and I promptly executed. So that's how I execute my plan. I hope you like this video and if you if you want to see more such content if you want to see more such analysis i would request you to please subscribe to my channel like this video share this with your friends who are interested in learning how to invest in the stock market because i am sharing my journey to be a successful retail investor in the stock market that's what my goal is i'll see you guys in my next video till then have a wonderful day Oh, 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 oh,